Hello and welcome to this third video tutorial of Dash and Plotly. In this video, we will be including visualizations to our previously built uh, Dash tables. So here, as you can see, I am in plotly.com.python. If you go to this website, you will be able to, to know how to use Plotly, which is the visualization portion of Dash. And you can also see that there are many visualizations already ready <laughs> to, for you to use. Uh, and specifically, the ones that we are going to use right now are the bar charts. So as you can see here, you can use something called Plotly Express to basically get a data from a data frame. So th this this extracts a data frame from a GetMinder source that Plotly already has. You can also like generate yourself some other types of graphs with uh, separations, multiple graphs, and even uh, this this is how you do the manual way. So here I am passing the numbers themselves and over plotly express i pass actually a data frame from pandas so let's just copy paste this first code here into our graphs folder which is the one that i just created for this video tutorial i just created a, a simple app and i copy pasted that specific code as you can see if i run this so right click run app you'll notice that uh, it instantly opens a web page with simply the graph that I have. This is not very useful if I want to include it in a Dash app, however. So how do you actually do that? So if you go back to the web page of plotly.com dash Python, you all, you'll notice that in every single one of them, if you go to the very end, it will say how to include whatever you just did in a Dash application. So in this case here, I just need to what to change the these figure add trays, figure update layout with whatever I want from what I copied from above, and put the dash and use the graph instruction or graph class from this DCC library, which are the the core components. So for example, let's just copy this also. Copy properly. I paste here, and what I want to change is actually this. So this fig trace needs to be this fig, something like this. And I want show actually, and I want create a, over here too. So yeah, something like this. If I run this now, it will be a little bit different. You'll notice that now my dash app is working as a proper dash app. If I open my website, it will show the same visualization because we didn't actually change that yet. But now you know how to include a graph inside your visualization, inside your Dash application. And what we are going to do now, instead of just getting this random data over here, we'll use the same data of the table that we built previously and have both side by side. So let's do that. First things first, I'll, I'll just copy paste my previous code from life expectancy table over to this app thing. Comment this for now. Oh, I will have this properly working now. And what I want is to include this graph over here. So just add a new thing called graph. I'll need to also use this DCC which is over here, DCC. And I need to generate this fig. So how do I actually do that? Let's separate the two things. Here I am doing the dash specific code. I'll create another Python file just for the figure so that I can just test out how the figure is without using dash and then include it in the dash app. Um, just call it figure. It's fine. And the figure that I want to create is similar to this start code that I had, which gets uh, from Plotly Express this PX. I will do this PX and do fig 
dot show. Oops. Where this fig instead of getting from this data Canada, I'll actually get from my data set. So the data set is this one. I also need pandas. I have this df. And now for my x and y, I'll just fix this. So I'll get from my other folder, something like this. My df then has, uh, I'll just do this so I can show what my df has. So my df has a column named country, which I'll consider it as an x and say I want the 1800s to be the y. If I do something like this and run it, I have a bar chart where the x, which is down here, are the different countries. And on the y, I can see the number of the column 1800. Notice that you can zoom in, zoom out, you can do selections select like this too. There are many different configurations in which you can tie in the callbacks that we saw previously with these interactions. We'll do this towards the end of the video. But for now, notice that I can't properly select which of the ears I actually want to see. So this is what we are going to do on the table side. I'll be able to select which which column I want to see with my countries over here. So first let's copy this to the dash app. So coming here, the way that I generate the figure then is using this. I also need my Plotly Express. I don't need to show it. Now I have my fig. My fig is over here. It will be under the table as you see shortly. Oh, sorry. This is also wrong. Okay. So now we can see that the, the bar chart is over here. The table is above. If I want to show them side by side, I'll once again use dash bootstrap going into components layout. I can see how to have different columns. So you use this row and call depending on what you want. So we'll have two columns, right? So I'll just change it to use two columns. One column will have these things. Uh, so dbc.call will have several things. And there will be another column with the graph. Something like this. Put this like this will be a little bit better to see. And I also need to add the little curly braces and use a row above it. So let's see, there's a row. Inside the first row, there will be only one row. We have two columns. The first column with the buttons and the data table and the other column with the figure. If I save, you'll see it's like this. Let's use the fluid style container as I talked about the previous video, like, something like this, so that we can properly use the entire screen. So here we are. Maybe we can even switch these two around, right? Because um, there are many different countries. So let's swap the bar chart to be a horizontal bar chart. So back to the documentation, I can see how to do the normal charts, right? And then over near the end, there are the horizontal bar charts, which there's a, lot, a, a different page talking about it. The only difference is that it has also this little parameter over here. So if I do orientation H, go back here, then I can see it's going to the right. Now I, I, I need to fix my X and Y to be what I actually expect. So to fix the size of the bar chart, as you remember previously, this bar chart wasn't going to the very end, was stopping like in the middle. To fix this over here in my data table, what I, or not the data table, over 
on my graph what I added was a style just made sure that it's consuming 100% of the height so with this the data table size will match what the graph is showing okay wonderful so now we have whatever the bars are for the different countries so the countries are here the countries over here are not ordered properly so we may try to fix this, that too in the near future and what we want to do now is to select what is the data that needs to come to the bar chart depending on a selection over the data table and to do that here in the data table interactivity documentation page you can see the URL over here if you want to check it out there is the selecting columns property so I'll use this property to be able to say to dash that in this data table I want to be able to select a single column and I need to also to include this in my columns part so you can see here an example in the columns entry which I have the callback which is handling I need to send the name ID and more information now I will also add this selectable true to every column so over here in the column I can also add that all the columns will have selectable true so there's selectable true in this first one and there is selectable true in all the other ones just type enter and include it over here so with this and also this column selectable equals single i'll just let it refresh go back to my page and you notice now there's this little round thing in which i'm able to select one of my rows even country even i think i don't want to be able to select country so this selectable here will be false by default it's false already so just remove it so with this i actually removed the wrong one right yeah <laughs> so remove this and this one is true okay so now i'm not able to select the country anymore just these uh different columns so let's check how to do the callback when i select something as you can see here there's an example the input needs to have the id of my table and selected columns so le let's just use this over let's create a new a new callback my input will be this depending on what I select and I also probably won't need the page what I will actually output will be something slightly different from the example here I'll have a select year and what I need to output is the bar chart figure so as you can see back here in my graph there is a figure which is the what is the information that i'm sending to my graph so instead of putting this here i'll actually return it over here so say i'll just return the same figure that i had i need to fix some things output is coming from this table or input actually selected columns it's missing one comma over here and my output will be to this graph which has no id yet so just add an id say year bars my output will go to that place and i'll update the figure so like this if i just use like this i'm not actually changing the figure but i'm able to print out what is a selection something like this so let's run it back in my page if i select an year you can see here there's one year selected 
it comes in a, an array form and what I want to do now is to update the figure accordingly so just get this and just control X remove it from here and just come over here if selection is none so by default just do this otherwise do a proper calculation I want this X to be my first selection so selection zero save now back here you'll see that my bar chart will update depending on what is the year I'm selecting I can even use the pagination go not this pagination right this pagination and select another year and I'll be able to see back over here wonderful so we were able to include interactivity and a bar chart in our little dashboard over here to be able to see our data in the next video we'll also investigate line charts and also add inter interactivity back from the line chart from the bar chart back to the table to be able to filter them out see you next time